Hey guys, it's me, Charlene Mars. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to blind these hoes, all right? How to blind these haters. If you're gonna be with your friends and you're gonna be with family members, you better warn them and tell them to wear some sunglasses because we're going to be blinding everybody, okay? That's the goal. The goal is to be shining like the sun, okay? We're going to be on fire, people. People are gonna look at you in the street and they're gonna be like, oh, oh, who is this person? Like, hello, okay? Your ex? You don't like your ex? Well, guess what? He's going to be dropping to the ground because he is not going to be able to see after we're done with this video, okay? We are going to blind, all right? Okay, so rant over. In this video, I'm also going to teach you guys how to properly contour your upper body to create the illusion that you have a collarbone. Me, honestly, I've been eating a lot and my collarbone is currently on vacation. But in the meantime, until she returns, I did decide to contour it and give it the illusion that I do have a collarbone. I also contoured a little bit of my cha-chans. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get to this video. I love you. Mwah. All right, guys, so to start off, I'm going to grab my Morphe M501 brush and also my Ofra highlighter in the shade Blissful. Super pretty. So yeah, I'm going to just dab a little bit. Make sure you tap all the excess powder off. And we're just going to, in small circular motions, work that into your cheekbone. Now, as you can see, that's really not doing anything. I'm working with very little product at first because I want to make sure that everything looks nice and blended. Now, if you compare that to my right side, you see that it is giving it a slight more of a glow. Yeah, you really can't see anything, but yeah, you know, we're just gonna work with the color and just build it up. Build it up, build it up. Just nice little circles. Now I'm going to grab some MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is the secret. If you want to glow, all right, you want to shine like a diamond, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to grab that same brush and I'm going to damp it. And I'm going to pick up more of that highlighter. Now you see that, right? When you're doing this step, try not to pick up so much product. Because it's going to be really hard to blend out once the brush is wet. And once again, just small little circular motions. And you can do a few little sweeps here and there. Try a little more product. Because like I said, we want to blind these holes. So, you know, if you want, you can always leave it like this. But that defeats the purpose of this video. So, just keep on adding highlighter. We're going to be working on a C shape. But try not to add too much here on your temples because then it's going to look like weird. Just going to add it here. Oh my god, I love me some highlighter. So we're done with that. Now I'm going to grab my Sephora Pro Fan number 65. And I'm going to grab Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter in the shade So Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm going to pick up my Tasha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Okay, this is a must. Now me, normally I have really like combination to oily skin. So I don't apply this all over my face because then I'm going to look like a glazed donut and a grease ball. And I'm not trying to do that. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm going to grab 
just anything right now and I'm just going to hold this here we're going to spritz about one or two little sprays right now I'm going to grab a little bit of that loose powder and I'm going to just blend that in Oof. look at that another little technique you can do is grab a little tiny fan brush this is by Morphe E40, I believe. And as usual, damp it. Grab a little bit of that loose powder. And just concentrate it right here. Right in the middle of your cheekbone. Because that's mainly where the light's going to hit. So it's going to be like, bam! Now I'm just going to grab like a little tiny little brush. And I'm going to bam, bam, spray it. And apply some on my tear duct because like hello we want everything to like shine right now everything oh yes baby oh my god yes so if we're going to be blinding people i am going to like cover my body with a highlighter because i'm not only gonna blind people with my face i'm gonna blind them with my body also but before i do that i need to contour myself a little bit you know because uh, i kind of need to lose a few pounds you know what i'm saying because i'm looking kind of fluffy and i want to create some dimension right now where's my collarbone it's like gone it's mia right now but don't worry in like a month or two it's gonna be there again but Nobody needs to work out if you don't want to. So that's why I have Huda Beauty's Tantor. Yeah, so let's get with the program. So first things first, I'm going to grab the Huda Beauty Face Sculpt and Shade brush. And with this tiny brush, I'm going to grab a little bit of that Tantor product. And I'm going to apply it right where my breast is. Right? Bam. We want these mofos to look kind of big. Wee! Yeah, I got me some taytots. I got me some taytots. Now, since we want the collarbones, let me see. All right, my collarbone is here. Bam. You know, I gotta do this like weird position. <laughs> Oh, that was a lot, but I'll blend that out. Oh, I'm like scared to use so much product. <laughs> so my a little bit here, making me look skinnier. Right here. All right, guys. So now, using that same brush, I'm going to grab the big brush and I'm just going to blend that in. Whoa, this looks like I got some big bubbies. Okay guys, so now that that's like semi-blended out, I don't want to blend it out too much because I will once I apply the Huda Beauty Nymph Not Your Mama's Penny Holes in the shade Luna. I'll also be using their brush. Now, a lot of people um, hype this product up. Me personally, it's great. It gives you a nice glow. However, it dries extremely fast and it's super hard to blend out. So what I notice is that you have to apply a little bit of moisturizer on the brush with the product, mix it up a little bit, and that'll give you the ability to blend it out a little better. But overall, it is a nice product. It's not a necessity. I think they could work on the consistency a little more, but that's like besides the point right now. So yeah, so apply a little bit, and we're going to apply a tiny pump, okay? 
and we're going to apply this here right in the center and bam 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 okay yeah so let's apply that that blends in beautifully once you apply the moisturizer see gorgeous Now I'm just going to set all of this with Huda Beauty's Resting Boss Face because we don't want it moving anywhere. Now it looks like I'm skinny here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Me personally, I had so much fun filming this look for you guys. Uh, to be honest, half the time I had no idea what I was doing when I was contouring my body. It was the first time I've ever done it. But yeah, I figured it out and so could you guys. So could you guys. Yeah. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me some comments down below or simply show me some love, all right? Show me some love in the comments. Or just give me a big thumbs up. Ha, ha, ha. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love you so much and I'm looking forward to the next video so i love you bye